What's going on everybody? Gem Mint here back with another statue unboxing and review. We have another one from the Iron Studios Mortal Kombat 110 scale line, the Emperor himself, Shao Kahn. Before we jump into this, man, this hobby can be expensive. So if you or anyone you know is looking to sell your comic book collection, it's time to make the hobby fund itself and hit up Nick Barucci from Dynamite Entertainment. He's paying top dollar for comic book collections right now. All you got to do is shoot him an email to nick.barucci at dynamite.com, mention Gemmin Collectibles and Comic Book Collection in the subject, and see if you guys can strike a deal. If you're not looking to sell, but maybe you want to buy some comics, hit up his website, dynamicforces.com, for all the latest comic books, back issues, key issues, and more, and use the code GEMMIN10 to save 10% every time. With that out the way, to make sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss one. We got a giveaway going on for our next subscriber milestone of 135k. We're giving away the sealed all-new Wolverine Omnibus from Marvel Comics. Stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you more details on that. Uh, but for now, let's jump into the box. Alright guys, so here we have the styrofoam box. Let's get off that lid. You see the pieces with the tissue paper over it, so let's remove that. And only two pieces here, so we're going to have the arm and the staff and the throne. So here goes his arm, the iconic red globe that you see him sitting with in the background of Mortal Kombat 2. Then you have his fist, He's ha he has his red armor, his gauntlet around the wrist. On the other side you can see his black kind of dragon type of nails from the type of species that he is. And then the bottom of the base, so 110 scale, no addition size, Mortal Kombat classic, the Emperor Shao Kahn. So here he is on his throne, like I said, as seen in Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, looks cool, man. You got the armor on his shin guards, on his shoulders with those spikes, stone type of throne. And then boom, the assembly is just the one piece. The hand going on his forearm well, with the staff in hand. He's all the symbol guys. Let's take a look at him. All right, guys, there we go. Pretty easy assembly. So this piece retails $210. The top of his staff is the tallest part. It's just shy of 10 inches. And then the diameter of the base is about 8 inches. So not a lot of footprint with this guy. The big boss, after Shang Tsung, this is what we got in Mortal Kombat 2 and would continue to be the big bad throughout Mortal Kombat history. Unless you want to count Onaga, which I don't really count. Uh, that was the Emperor before Shao Kahn. Anyway, at the base, you have this nice little sub-base. Of course, you have to have the Mortal Kombat Dragon logo front and center. It's got a nice pattern around it, and you can see cracks and texturing of stone throughout. Moving up a little bit higher up, I love the skulls that sit to his left and right on his throne. Those look iconic. Uh, and then Khan himself. So, the only thing that I thought was a little off here was the feet or the shoes. It almost looks like they were going to go bare feet, but then they just painted them black. Sometimes he wears the all black Outworld Classics. Sometimes he does have sandals. This looks like maybe they gave him sandals with black socks on. That's kind of like my only nitpick in this whole piece. Otherwise, I think everything else on the costume looks good, man. The shin guards have great damage and weathering to them. The nice deep red with a gold trim. The knee guards have those spikes on them. He's got the loincloth. It reminds me of like a samurai vibe. Moving up to the chest, you know he's got those six-pack abs, the skull emblem on his chest, those nice shoulder pads with the spikes, and of course the iconic skull helmet. Now I remember not finding out uh, right away when I was a kid that he actually had like dragon-like eyes. He almost had a half dragon, half man type of species concept, similar to what they sold Goro as at first. Although they ended up fleshing out Goro's race much more, in my opinion, in the franchise. So you have a silver look for the helmet there, the spikes going up on the front, and then the top of the throne with those nice spikes sticking outward. So you got to have the big bad of the Mortal Kombat universe. Uh, we have Goro here as well. Let's go ahead and pair them next to each other to see how they match. And here we go. So Goro much taller because, you know, Shao Kahn is sitting down, Goro being the huge monstrous beast that he is. But I think these two pieces so far look great. These are the first two from Iron Studios 110 scale Mortal Kombat line. I have Sub-Zero, Scorpion, and Raiden on order as well. And I would hope to see some more, man. I would love to get a Kentaro, a Shang Tsung. Uh, I would love to see more ninjas, but obviously we need some love with Kung Lao and Liu Kang. I'll go deep in this line, man. I'm a Mortal Kombat fanatic. Uh, so overall, happy with the piece. I know it's not a lot of assembly. It's not a big elaborate statue like I normally do, but... It's still something that I really enjoy, a franchise that I love. 
Let me know what you guys think about Shao Kahn on Throne in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy these videos and subscribe to the channel uh, with the notification bells on so you don't miss a video. We are giving away a sealed copy of this all new Wolverine Omnibus by Marvel Comics once we hit 135,000 subscribers and we're almost there. All you gotta do is be subscribed, leave a like and comment and once we reach the milestone we'll go live, pick a random video where I promoted that giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner and we still have the big 150k subscriber giveaway on deck. We're just gonna do some smaller ones until we get there. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my other statue unboxing and reviews in the playlist on screen. And stay minty fresh while I leave you with Shao Kahn spinning on throne. Peace.